hello dear students this is the continuation of the previous class we were discussing the rules of uh, passive voice we have seen around eight rules and now we are going to the next one the ninth rule impersonal use it is the passive voice which offers a useful way of expressing something impersonally that means if we need to avoid the person or if we do not need to give importance to the person who has done the action or even we may not be knowing it in such cases we can use uh, impersonally the sentence can be uh, impersonal so the sentence will be beginning like this uh, it is hoped that it is said that it is believed that that means uh, if it is people hope that it can be used it is hoped that the residents say that so uh, if the sentence is beginning with the, the residents say that but i don't need to uh, mention that one uh, or i don't need to give importance to the residents so i can say that or i can begin the sentence with it is said that or even uh, another example it is uh, the patients the patients believe that so i i don't want to give importance to the patients so in such cases i can use it is believed that so this is the this is how we are using the passive voice impersonally let us see one example people fear that all the passengers are dead so it's a sentence which is beginning with the uh, people so when we change this active voice into passive voice it should begin like this it is feared that all the passengers are dead this is the way to change the active voice into passive voice in an impersonal way the next rule and the final rule given in our textbook is avoiding vague words as subjects the passive voice is used when we wish to avoid using a vague word as a subject for example someone a person etc for example after my lecture i was asked to explain a point in this sentence it is not clear who has asked uh, it can be asked by someone so in such cases Uh, we are uh, omitting those types of uh, words let us see another example i was blamed for his actions by someone but in this type of sentences we don't need to use the by someone that is not clear who has blamed me so when we write the passive voice for this sentence it can be like this i was blamed for his actions and we don't need to use the end part of the sentence by someone because that is not clear that is a vague idea so whenever the object of the passive voice is not clear then we are avoiding those types of uh, objects in the passive voice that means that will be the act, the subject of the active voice if the subject of the active voice is not a uh, clear maybe it is used to someone or a person something like that then we are avoiding those types of objects in the act, in the passive voice The next one is that the passive voice is used when the subject is an indefinite pronoun like one. One has to sign the form. Instead of that one, we can write like this: the form has to be signed. Who has to sign? One has to sign. So it is also not clear who has to sign. So in such cases also we can avoid, and the passive voice can be like this: the form has to be signed. The next one is that the passive voice is obligatory in notice. so whenever we write a notice we must use the passive voice for example lawns arranged shoes repaired entry prohibited so here for class 10 and class 9 there is a part there is a question in the board exam to write the notice in that notice also we can use a passive voice the students are requested to participate in the program so likewise uh, keep in mind whenever you write a notice it can be a, a brief short sentence or it can be a elaborated notice then kindly use the passive voice to write the notice so here with we have completed almost all the rules of a passive voice in the coming class we will be discussing the assignments so dear students please kindly uh, go through the assignments and try to do all the assignments and so that while we discuss we can correct those assignments thank you have a nice day